Hold on, before, before I uh, continue, I want to show this one clip. This is a, a, a recent video, for those of you who, who, who missed this, a little run-in that he had with uh, a Muslim man who was threatening his life, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Uh, get the fuck away from the camera. Get the fuck away from the camera. Get the fuck away from the camera. You tried to touch our camera. Right. Yes, I don't fucking try and touch the camera then. I told you that five times. Keep your life. I will keep my life. You want to take a fucking life? What, you think you're going to take a fucking life? Take a fucking life. Yeah. Like, and you, you can look. You can look. You can look. You can look. Now tell me, when I watched that clip, I saw it, uh, what struck me most is there was an officer there, right, that looked like there was a police officer. He didn't seem to have a problem with it because the guy was running up threatening you like this. Even in the UK, it seems as though you're well within your rights to do that. <laughs> The, the man had told me specifically he was going to kill me. Mm -hmm. I had been warned about going to that area. Do you know what? I went to Italy for the elections. Mm -hmm. And I spent an hour researching what's happening in, the, in this one city. And what I found was just... I found a Somalian man who went into a hospital. And whilst an Italian woman was in, in bed having labour, giving labour for a baby, he climbed on and raped her. I then found that an Eritrean man had chopped up an Italian girl just two weeks before, murdered her, raped her, chopped her body up and left it in a suitcase. I found that a 75 year old woman had been raped just a mile from where I was standing by, by, by a Sudanese man. I found unbelievable stories, horror stories. The only sort of stories you would have previously read about in Africa or in South Africa or in the Middle East, right here in Europe. I found one case, one case where a, a man, a Polish man was with his partner and a group, a gang of Muslim migrants beat him up and then he made, they made him watch as they gang raped his wife on a beach for hours. They made him watch. And these were stories that, again, it's just, this is Europe now. These are stories that are commonplace in every country in Europe. Well, let me ask you this, because some people will say, well, why are you focusing? If you just go out looking for stories of Muslims who happen to commit crimes, you'll find them. Statistically, that's not okay, the so, norm. So I, I went to Italy and it's Italy, Italy had just had their election and La Liga had gone from 4% to 18%. The left had been completely booted out of politics. Mm -hmm. This was a political revolution in Italy. So I asked why? Why is the country swung like this? Let's see what problems there are that have resulted in the next coalition government. The leader of La Liga says that Islam is incompatible with their country and they will probably deport 600,000. So I wanted to know why they won the election. Let's look at the problems. Let's look at what's resulted in this. And that's why I started to find unbelievable horror stories that were unthinkable crimes that, that you hadn't heard of on the shores of Italy, but, but, but this commonplace. Yeah. And then I found a journalist, a female journalist, who live on screen was violently and sexually attacked and dragged down the street, live, right, reporting the news, live, by Muslim migrants. These are all migrants. And, and the, the story that shocked me was all four of those instances I just told you, yeah. all four of the men convicted had been refused and should have been deported from Italy, but they weren't. So all of this was failed asylum cases, but they were allowed to stay. So all of these victims could have been saved if the laws would have been enforced and the, and, and the guidelines would have been followed. But because they weren't, and that is why the Italian people elected a government, a new government that will remove the people in power who have left their women at prey like it, it really is so, unbelievable that you haven't heard of these stories. The people stateside certainly haven't, but you would think in Europe at least, you know, you'd think it may, I don't know, at least the Chiron on BBC. Uh, not at all, not at all. And, and you're painted as a racist, as a Nazi.